Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm starting this part out at the train depot because there's a bit more stuff to do around here. I'm gonna go back here to see if a Pokemon is over here. I'm not sure if it is, but uh, I'm gonna see... I'm looking for melody boxes as well, which I can find around this area. Uh, roof tiles will not help me get that golet in this place as a friend, so yeah. Just gotta, oops, sorry. I <laughs> just gotta hope that there's something good going on around here. But yeah, I don't see um, the Pokemon that I'm looking for. It's the Curlia. Maybe it doesn't appear until a little bit later, which is okay. But yeah, it, it appears around this spot. As a matter of fact, I think it appears on uh, uh, that train platform right here. I thought. Or maybe it's that uh, that one there or something. I don't know, but it's it's definitely not here. It's not that difficult to find or anything like that. But yeah. Um, anyway, up here, you'll notice that there is an Abra around here. Well, that Abra is quite the troublemaker here. Uh, as you see, if you get close to it like this, what's going to happen is it's. I'm going to fail. <laughs> As I was saying, what happens is if you get close to it, watch what happens. Is someone coming? It teleports somewhere else on the train. Yeah, so it's it's seemingly impossible to get. I mean, you can try attacking it from a distance and everything, but it won't it, it won't do anything to it. It's protected by some sort of psychic shield. Maybe it's using protect actually. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so it's it's kind of a puzzler how to get that Abra, especially since you've never used the item that you need to get the Abra with before. Um, I'm still looking for uh, Melody Boxes. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to have to keep resetting the area until I get some. Um, unless I'm going to get some here. No, it's going to be Roof Tiles. But, yeah, you can find... Oh, uh, so, oh here's the Curlia. Why are you here? I thought you typically hang around the other side. Treasure chests are so wonderful, don't you think so too? When I think about what's inside, I get so excited I can't sleep. Maybe a marvelous Pokemon will open all the treasure chests. Every single one in Poke Park. that would be amazing. You know what Curlia here is referring to? Those special treasure chests that I've been collecting all this way with the counter boxes. Yep, they're Curlia's chests, and well, to befriend Curlia, you've got to get all the chests. And yeah, so that... There's, I'm pretty close to being able to do that now, so yeah, good times. Uh, where did that Abra go to anyway? Well, in any case, I, pr I should probably reset the area by going in the unaware house and coming back out to see if I can uh, get some more uh, treasure chests to spawn. Basically, right now, I'm focusing on getting Abra and um, Golets at this moment in time. Wait, where's the Meowth around here? Meowth, Meowth, Meowth! Where are you? I need a Meowth. <laughs> it's like I can't find the Pokemon that I need to find anywhere around here. <laughs> you in here, Meowth. Will there be melody boxes in the water? No, there's gonna be megaphones. Duh, why? Meowth, I need you. I need to buy a phonograph from you. <laughs> That's really what I'm looking to do. The phonograph is used to, um, get me out uh, to get Abra and up oh, there it is way at the start and the thing about it is that you wouldn't know this because there's no hint to it just like there's no hint to using a plush to make yourself fall asleep after waiting two minutes at least to my knowledge anyway the phonograph I confused with the melody box earlier in the game and uh, yeah it's actually a different sort of thing and you can only get it from Meowth as far as I know you're welcome Listen. <laughs> and if you drop it, pick it up again. The song will change. This time it's the Poke Park melody from the first game. Let's. Uh, oh, I was gonna say let's drop it again. No, 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 no. I want. I want to pick it up again. I want to show all the songs to the people. Pick up. There we go. Yep, another song. <laughs> It's got a couple of songs here, and I think that's the last one, actually. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Just gonna keep picking it up and see if we can get another one here. 
No, there's a second song, the Poke Park melody. Could take... Mm, I guess there's only three. Mm, oh well. Anyway, now what we gotta do from here is... Stop following me, Solomon. Stop it, Tyranitar, you too. Is take... Stop it! Stop it! I know you guys like the melody box too, which is why you're following me, but this is not... Uh, conductive to victory, and anyway, as you see, it calms Abra down, which allows you to approach it, which is what I did right here. In fact, I didn't even know I was approaching it. Look at those two go! Just... And even Excelgor! Anyway, <laughs> Abra, here you go. What? I can't believe you managed to talk to me. I hypnotized myself to teleport away when someone approached. You're amazing. Will you be my friend? I will! Okay, so Abra's friended. Still need to find the melody box. Ah, it's great to be able to greet each other, right? Yeah, it is. So don't teleport away anymore, please, okay? Thank you. Just look at this. Look at them. It's it's nuts. <laughs> you guys play with that. I gotta look for uh, melody boxes. No. 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 No! They appear in this slot, by the way. No! For the love of Arceus, why? Mm -mm. Nada. I hate random number generators! Profanity! Ah. Please, why? No way! I can't believe this! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Really considering restarting the game here. Like, maybe I'll be able to reset the RNG. It's just not appearing, just like those dang snazzy ribbons. Freaking! Yep, I think I'm gonna reset. I don't know if saving and quitting the game's gonna help me, but I guess we'll see. No. Are they a rare item or something? <sighs> I'm tempted to leave Golet for later. This is as bad as having the grind for honey jars and sweet leaves! Alright, I'm not having any fun here, so I'm gonna go head over to the Scientorium and leave Golet for later. And here we are. I'm gonna immediately start by going over to the lab, because there's a harder version of it with a vast white quill, the final one in the game may I add, and another Skirlia's chest in there. So yeah, let's see what we got this time. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot more fun than uh, randomly running around grabbing treasure chests from two areas and hoping that you'll get a rare drop. <laughs> oh, I went too far. I want to go up here first immediately, I guess. And oh no no, whoa, that was close. Very very close, in fact. Yeah. All right, go 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 go. Climb climb climb. E e e. Con con con. There we go. E. Yes. Go 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 go. Switch 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 switch. <laughs> And shake, 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 shake. I missed. <laughs> oh, poopers. I fell all the way down here. Where should I be going? I'm not sure. It's an upgraded version. Definitely trickier. I remember this one being tricky in its original form. But upgrade it and trying to look around for stuff. Oh, I should actually go down there and get some stopwatches. But anyway, yeah, upgrading it and trying to look for stuff even more cryptic. <laughs> but this is... Anything, I should say anything's better than having to randomly grab treasure chests and hope, hope to Arceus that it works out. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Go up. I'm probably gonna grab that. Yes. Yep. And upsy doodle. That's uh, the temporary platform. Yep, that's what I thought. Because that's the thing we ground pounded through a little bit ago. I need to switch it up. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I don't want to take that path. I want to get the, the. Oh, shoot. I want to get the stopwatches. Yes. It's 
always worth it. There's the quill. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Go up and around like that. And hurry up! Because that's gonna go away. Need to find my way to that. Come on, come on, come on. Time's running out. Well, I got plenty of time, actually. At least it seems like I've got plenty of time. Uh, switch! Why? Why do I always do that on that, on that platform? <laughs> uh, whatever. In... Go, 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 go! Switch, switch, switch! Come on! Yeah! This is pretty long. <laughs> I'm used to them only being like... A minute to two minutes or so. It just feels like I'm not even close to the end. Um, definitely gotta swap to Pika Pika. Pika Pika! And charge up immediately. Yeah! Still haven't found the path to the quill. It's probably something really obscure. <laughs> go, 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 go. It's further down. A little bit further. Okay, it's to the right. Go, 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 go. Okay, it's not that obscure because you can tell where, it, where it's uh, coming up based on how you drop off there. Again, it's a uh, good game design. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This can't be good. It can't be good. Mm, got greedy there, I think. Please give me a stopwatch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh-oh. 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 Oh, there's one up there. <laughs> and I should have used Snivy for that jump. All right, restarts. But at least I got the quill on that uh, first run there. Alright, how can I make this run more efficient? Well, not do that again. <laughs> Dang it. I only wasted four seconds there. Well, actually, probably like three. Because you have to get there. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm tempted to restart it right here since I'm at the beginning anyway. Alright, so this time I'm going to focus more on... Uh, the main path rather than all the little corners and nooks and crannies and stuff like that to try and get myself to the goal unless there is um, stopwatches of course because stopwatches is always always worth getting we'll go down oh no you can't go that way because of that block of course <laughs> <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Still gotta go down to get more stopwatches. You, can, you can't jump off the edge there. It's. <laughs> if any part could go worse, I would be very surprised. <laughs> mm -mm. Give me. Alright, I think I still sort of maybe have plenty of time to do this. Might be. Just go, 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 go! Don't mess it up any jumps. Don't mess up any jumps. Get that. Go across. Good. Yes! Run! Yeah, this is this right here is one of the spots coming up that I had most trouble with uh, figuring out where to go. But I'm most certainly going to go and get those clocks. And reset the platforms. And go like that. And go, go, go. I'm not gonna get that. S skip it entirely. <laughs> Alright, I got much more time than I had last time here. Mm. Plenty of time for a berry. And oh, no, shoot! I jumped up on the platform before. Mm. At least I didn't try switching on top of it again. <laughs> At least I know better. Sort of. And go! There's not really many stopwatches after this point, is there? Is there? Mm. Skip the berry! <laughs> hyper, hyper, hyper! Go, 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 go! Caffeine, caffeine, caffeine! <laughs> so yeah, this is a really complicated one. Switch, switch, switch! <laughs> Just trying to mash the button to switch as soon as I'm able to. And I don't have to go get the Vast White Quill this time, so I don't have to even jump in the water there. Okay... Good, 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 good. And I'm gonna... S can't switch there right now, okay. That's good enough. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to, yes, oh, that works. <laughs> oh, no, that doesn't work! Okay, that's... Oh, their, oh, their timing is offset. Okay, I gotta wait a little longer then. Uh, okay, and the other one should be out then, okay. 
So that one was designed entirely to make you, um, whoops, wrong direction, was entirely designed to stall you, I should say, make you wait it out a little bit so that the platforms are in the correct spot. So thus, when I fell there, I didn't actually uh, waste as much time as you might have thought. And I made it! Woo! Yeah! All right, now that we're back at the lab, I can head over to Ranunculus to meet up with the Lakitu brothers, and let's see if they have anything to say here before I talk to it. Uh, <laughs> can't wait to get to work. Uh, oh, brother. Well, I can't help it. I'll join in. I'm looking forward to this more and more. I want to show what we can do soon. Sounds good. So without further ado, let's do it. Hello there, everyone. I have no idea where you brought these three from, but it appears they have more than enough energy for this purpose. Now let's use that power and activate this machine. <laughs> Crack that orb open like an egg. Is that a microwave? <laughs> Sure seems like it. Super powered, super powered microwave, go! Yeah. I think it's overcooked. Overcooked. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> Did it work? Did it work? It worked. Woo! Look, there's something inside. Is it some kind of spike? Maybe it's a fang. I think I need to study this object very carefully. Hey, thanks, Inoculus, but we're in a bit of a hurry. I guess as much. Okay, then, I'll return this to you. So we got the bolt spike. Hmm, is there a Dais uh, in Wish Park? Maybe in Wish Palace. <laughs> the world still holds many secrets. Thank you for always bringing me such interesting news. One day I plan to find something even more surprising than Wish Park in the Dark Vortex. And Ranunculus is friended! Still gotta get that dang gullet though. <laughs> the Dark Vortex, it certainly was fascinating, wasn't it? Uh, fascinating in an extremely dangerous way. Anyway, I'm gonna go over to the uh, Wish Palace now, if you don't mind. So I'm gonna cut ahead. Here we are! Remember that thing behind the throne that I said would be later? Later is now. Switch over to... Snivy. And... Go see Zekrom. What? Yeah, now that we have that bolt, we can open a portal here and manually go see Zekrom rather than it appearing to us. Oh, yeah! Looks like a Wish Park portal, though. You know, in the loading screen. <laughs> I am grateful for your arrival. You banished the Dark Vortex and saved Poke Park. Before all else, I thank you for that. What is to follow? I know you are looking for Dark Ride. Then why did you ask what is to follow? Oh, forget it. He failed to understand that his actions, his disruptions, his, well, meatloaf eating, he tried to bring ruin on this world. As a consequence, it is Dark Ride's fate to remain trapped in the Dark Vortex. Still, if you insist on trying to save Dark Ride, I am willing to let you try. First, I must test your determination. Do you have the strength and courage needed to battle me? Of course! I've got Snivy out! Good luck. May the better of us win. Versus Zekrom Super Special Legendary Battle? It's gonna take forever to win! Special music and everything. Look out! Keep your distance because that's... All of its attacks really are pretty dang powerful and it resists your party as well pretty nicely so it's it's an endurance match most of all look out look out look out Just keep your distance play cowardly because you don't want to restart such a long battle from the very beginning they give you 400 seconds at the start for a reason oh doesn't do too much damage but if it keeps hitting you like that, it will outlast you. 
Just keep your distance, keep spamming your long distance attacks. I mean, I could, uh, I could get in close, but it's got a pretty devastating close range attack in on itself. Yeah, that's kind of why I want, like to keep my distance. <laughs> it just, it turns around so quickly on you, and you gotta, yeah, oh no! Oh, I'll get this eventually. Believe me, I'll get this eventually. And, ah! That's not art! Take it out! That kind of failed. <laughs> yeah, maybe further away. Further away worked. See, its range is only about half the battle arena. So you just kind of wait for it to do its attack. And then you close in as its attack is ending to try and nick some damage off it. Yo, zonks! <laughs> At least that's my strategy. It might might be faster if you can get in closer. Oh geez, I'm getting close to the edge of the arena. I wasn't really paying much attention. I'm going in um, a circle here in the same direction all the time. Because what happens is if you keep going back and forth, like left and right around around the perimeter, he gets too close to the edge and it becomes more and more difficult to dodge that attack. And oh shoot, 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 shoot. Okay. <laughs> because you know the less room you have, the um the more easily he can hit you with that. So yeah. It's one of those things and I wonder if I should increase my attack power. <laughs> I mean in case you don't realize, I'll be facing off against Reshiram soon as well, so... Yeah, it might be tempting to go and uh, increase the power of at least Leaf Tornado uh, back at the Cold Town. Ooh! Okay... I think... I think I'll have... I think I'll be... Uh, I think I'll have enough time to do this, is what I'm saying here. Because it's... Because I started out with 400 seconds, so... And it, its HP is down to less than half. Which means I should, keyword should, <laughs> have enough time to finish off this battle. Ah, didn't hit him. It, it, the range of Leaf Tornado plus its attack, pretty finicky. Because it, it's like, our, both of our attacks come within each other's ranges. So, you have to get him to aim somewhere you are not. And yeah, and go around it. And close in as he's finishing, and then shoot. Yeah, that's how it, that's how it works. But it's it's a long battle. It's not a difficult battle, but it's a long battle. <laughs> it's it's a battle of patience. Do you have the patience to defeat it? Well, you better, otherwise you'll never be able to have a chance at rescuing Darkrai. And we gotta rescue him. Come on now. Forgive him for eating the meatloaf. Forgive him for picking fun at my weakness to roll goal. And let's defeat the two legends of Pokemon Black and White. Well, there's actually more legends to it, but I mean the two uh, mascot legends, I should say. Pokemon on the box. <laughs> Alright, we're almost there. We are almost there. Home stretch right here. Don't... Don't mess up, PK Gam. <laughs> Even if you take a little bit longer, it's okay. Just make sure your attacks count. So oh, sliver is left. Just one attack to go. And this should do it. Yeah! Woo! <sighs> oh, you have shown me your courage and determination. But if you wish to try to save Darkrai, you must gain Reshiram's approval too. Go, seek Reshiram. So Zekrom is now friended, and it will appear as a friend in the Wish Park list. Let's go see Reshiram. We must collect 20 vast white quills. Got them! In fact, I got them all. We need to take them to the dais in the arcane area. Or, not yet. So, it's going to poop us out back at the Wish Park, but I am going to go to the arcane area after a cut. And here we are at the lake shore. Yeah, I took a little drift bim, drift 
bl drift blim flight over here and now this thing that I said I was going to do later now is later <laughs> go to see Rushy Ram yes remember oh <gasps> the quills yeah you need 20 of them I've got 40 all of them in the game baby and that opens a portal over to where Rushy Ram sits and it's I'm guessing it's like some sort of alternate dimension of sorts. I mean, maybe they are in the Wish Park because that's where they appear on the friend list is in Wish Park. Ashawat, Snivy, Tepic, and Pikachu. Thanks to your determined effort, Poke Park has been saved. I thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon in Poke Park. Now, I well know the reason you have come here to see me. You would like to save Darkrai. He disrupted the order in this world. As a result, the Dark Vortex sucked him into the Dark World. It is now his destiny to keep wandering the Dark World alone. If it is your wish to save Darkrai, you must first prove your determination. Do you have the courage to battle against me? Of course! Although, I'm using Snivy. And it's Dragon Fire, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, let's see how it goes. It is time to face this challenge. Let us begin! In Hades, we battle. Oh boy! Mm, don't do that, please. That that could be very, very devastating to my grass self. So could that. Your your moves are pretty hot, but I have a feeling I'll be able to outlast you. Maybe. Yeah. Whenever you see it charging up like that, dodge to a side immediately, like that. Or, well, I mean, that wasn't the attack it was using, but yeah, I'm just trying to give you an idea of how to dodge its rather devastating moveset here. Oh, it's big, it's powerful, but it's pretty slow. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't have the speed Zekrom has in its battles, so uh, this is why I think I would be fine with Snivy, because it's only got those three attacks, and as you see, I'm not really having much of an issue dodging them overall, or at least not yet. <laughs> I'm really happy that that Leaf Tornado homes in on uh, opponents so well, unlike Pikachu's Thunderbolt. <laughs> like seriously, why does that thing keep missing on me? It's, it's blasphemy. <laughs> um, the more you play these bosses, the better off you'll be able to feel, feel out their moves. Like, you see that I'm just outside the range of their attacks most of the time. Well, that's because I had a lot of practice battling these two, you know, from other plays, so... But, but my initial playthrough of this game, I was having kittens. <laughs> I had a lot of issues with them overall. But uh, eventually I found a strategy that works. It, it, of course, uses Snivy on both of them, which is what I'm doing right here. I mean, this, I mean you know the strategy, but... I mean, I've used it so many times before, what I'm saying is that initially I didn't know what I wanted to use because I didn't really recognize the power of Snivy. So yeah, I mean, it, it looks like you would want to um, use a Pokemon that would be super effective, well not super effective because, you know, it's got the Dragon type and that kind of uh, messes with your type advantage since it resists all your uh, uh, Pokemon for the most part except for Oshawa because of its dual type. but. Yeah, <laughs> so I thought that uh, she was Oshawa, but Oshawa, Oshawa just feels too slow for this sort of thing. I mean, I'm sure all Pokemon can beat all other Pokemon in the game with some practice and effort, but, you know, you want to use something that works efficiently, something that works well, at least, I think. And Snivy, she works good for me. So oddly, for some reason, I have issues with Scrafty, Crawlgunk, and Sneasel. <laughs> I, I don't know why they give me issues with Snivy, but they do. That might be worth practicing just for the sake of taking care of my weakness. I mean, uh, yeah, I had um, issues with uh, Ferrothorn as well with Snivy uh, when I did it in the battle tournament there, but it. If I had more time to beat it, I would eventually beat it. It's just that the clock was not on my side. And so far, so good. Nope, not gonna happen. 
not going to happen. Like, I'm not... I mean, I haven't taken any damage so far, but I have a feeling if I take one hit from that, it's going to take off, like, over half my HP, like, any of its attacks. <laughs> Probably. Nope. So I'm, I'm going to keep avoiding, you know, taking hits here. I'm not going to do any fancy take hits to experiment thing. I'm just going to keep dodging. I'm just going to keep doing a nice cowardly strategy here because it's consistent. <laughs> I mean, you are battling against a godlike Pokemon here, so you got to take things how you can get them. I mean, <laughs> you know, in terms of take your victory, how you can get them, excuse me. And two more should do it. Please don't charge. Oh, oh three more, huh? Huh, 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 huh? Well, it's over. Ha ha ha! Flawless victory! Woo! Mm. You have shown us the power of your courage and determination. Now we will bring Darkrai back from the Dark Vortex. Woo! Evil voice guy is returning! We'll return him to Wish Palace and all those waiting for him there. I'm not sure I am trended. Alright, let's see what they can do. Come on. Break open the dark vortex. And we got the credits again! <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't really show, per se, um, what they do uh, right here, right now, but it's implying that Darkrai has been freed. And as you see in the credits now, um, a lot of the Pokémon that we friended, I mean, I should say the most of the Pokémon we friended, because we friended most of the Pokémon in the game, will now show in the credits, because before they were just black silhouettes before and yeah <laughs> and look at that there's a there's a couple of other pokemon there um that we haven't friended because you know of wish park and I just can't find the dang reality box okay calm down calm down watch the blood pressure watch the blood pressure <laughs> and anyway um as I always say, and I said in the last time we've seen the credits, I did not make the game. These awesome people did. I just made the walkthrough to help and entertain people. But, unfortunately, this might not be the last time we'll see the credits. <laughs> because, you know, if there's still more Pokemon to friend, more stuff to collect, why not sitting on top of Driftblim's head just because... Yep. Still got more to do. This game is pretty big, by the way. I mean, uh, I've been playing for like, I would say, 12 hours or so. Um, so I, I guess maybe it's not that big if you keep up a good pacing, but in order to keep up a good pacing, you really have to know what you're doing. Because <laughs> otherwise you might be wandering around aimlessly, like um, trying to find the shrines for the Lakitu brothers or um, the dioceses for Reshiram and Zekrom. So, yeah. Ah, the credits music. Good to hear it once again. So very nice. So very nice. <laughs> Not really sure why I'm showing the credits here now, considering that I showed them there before, and I probably should show them in their more complete form, but I guess it's, I don't know, it just kind of follows the, um progression of the game, I guess you could say, is why I feel like I, I should show the credits here, because they feel need to show the credits after, um, quote-unquote rescuing Darkrai, um, using Zekrom's and Reshiram's power. So, yeah, it's basically, I guess, so, to show the game as the designers intended it to be shown, basically, is what I'm saying. And I think the credits are coming to a close very soon here, which is good because I'm kind of running out of space in the camera because I've been searching for a melody box for like 20, 30 minutes. I forgot how long it is by now, but yeah. 
a lot's going to be cut out of this part just because of that, because there's a lot of wandering around. There's probably be a, a spot that you already seen in the video of me grunting and moaning about not finding a melody box, which is going to be fun, <laughs> I'm sure. But uh, I hate random number generators when they're like that. Anyway, that's the end of the credits. Well, okay, not quite. I thought that was the end because they were showing the, the main peeps. And I hope the credits end soon, though. I mean, looking at the timer on the camera, you can only record like an hour. And I'm at 53 minutes here right now. <laughs> Please. Please end. <laughs> Yeah, I still got a friend, the Pokemon at the Wish Palace and everything as well, so still, still more to go. Much more to go. Yes, please.